guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a photo ready makeup tutorial. This is perfect for school pictures, license pictures maybe, I don't really know. Um, mine is a little bit more glam than normal, like I put on a few um, lashes just because this is for like my senior pictures. So this is like what's gonna go on the wall in my house, like going in the yearbook with like all the seniors, like it's a big deal, you know, woo -hoo. So I wanna make sure I look my best, but also I'm wearing products with no SPF that's gonna have a white cast that are all going to photograph really, really nicely. So um, that is what this whole look is. Basically, it's gonna look great in photos. So this is perfect because back to school season, it's hitting us back up and we're gonna be taking a lot of pictures for the yearbook and stuff. So um, yeah, totally stick around if you wanna know how I got this natural, but a little bit more glam-ish makeup. Yes, let's get into it, KK. <laughs> I'm starting off by applying the Photo Loving Primer and I know it's great for photos because it says photo loving, haha. <laughs> And then the professional, just to kind of cancel out any pores I might have on my nose. And then I'm going to jump on in with the Color Stay Foundation. I love this foundation. It's perfect. It doesn't look too cakey on me or anything. It's perfect for my skin. I'm obsessed with it. And then I got foundation in my hair. Yep, that happened. <laughs> and then I'm going over a second time to just kind of touch up any areas that I feel like are too red. And then we're jumping in with a lip exfoliator and then a lip balm. And then here is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is kind of like the perfect shade for canceling out redness for me. So I'm just kind of blending that out and putting that under my eyes. And then I'm doing the Maybelline Age Rewind in a little triangle to really brighten and highlight my under eyes. And I'm just blending that out with the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush. And then I'm taking any excess just on redness or pimples or weird places on my face and then I'm just setting it with a powder. I'm setting my concealer with this translucent powder and then going in with the e.l.f. makeup mist and then I'm taking a beauty blender and kind of rolling that on my skin. I saw this in a video and it looked pretty darn good so it kind of just like presses everything in. I just applied a primer on my eyes because of course I need a primer and then putting that on underneath as well. And just doing the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk because that's really gonna vibrate colors, make them more vibrant, I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm doing my eyebrows. So I have done my eyebrows a lot of the time on camera, but this is kind of a really quick snippet of it, but there is going to be a brow tutorial linked below for you guys. Basically, I just kind of square them off, make them a little bit more thick, more intense, that's about it. And here is just a contour shade, just, you know, contouring it up a little bit around my cheekbones, my jaw, fun stuff like that because I'm pale, but I also, you know, I like to bronze up, but also kind of create shadows in my face. So I'm doing that. Here is a blush. I love this blush. I think it looks so natural, but I'm doing it a little bit more heavy because this is obviously for pictures. And then this is. A highlighter from Wet n Wild and I'm just kind of putting that on my face and then going back in places where I want a more intense highlight with soft and gentle. Now here is the Naked palette. So I'm going in with Naked and putting that on like the outer third half-ish of my lid and then going in with Sin on the inner corner, just tapping that in, making sure it kind of is secured and all that great grand stuff. And then I'm just kind of blending everything out. Now I'm going in with Smog and putting that directly in the crease. And I'm just taking a blending brush with nothing on it. And now putting Dark Horse on the lash line, just on the outer half, and really kind of blending, smudging it up, bringing a little bit more of Dark Horse up. And then putting Brulee from Wet n Wild on beneath the eyebrow. Highlighting, of course, is necessary for me. And then I'm kind of smudging out Dark Horse again. I'm 
going in with two eyeliners, so I'm doing the nude one on my waterline, and on my tight line, I'm doing the black one. And I'm going in with a eyeliner for my upper lash line. I'm not doing a wing or anything because I want to look kind of more natural. And I'm doing lashes with my lash glue and just doing it on the outer half of my eye to make it look kind of natural-ish but a little bit glam. So yeah, and I'm curling them and just kind of blending them together with my natural lashes with a mascara. a lip liner that is a little bit more red than my lips but it's still pretty natural and then just going over it with a matching sort of matching lipstick and just doing that on the outer half and that is my makeup so you guys that was it for the makeup I hope you enjoyed I love you guys so so much Leave me requests down below for other back to school videos. I will be totally doing those for you guys. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. You're amazing, honestly. You're incredible. Okay, I love you guys so much. Please be sure to subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and all that jazz. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. The actual style of the top is just to die for. It's like a nice crop top, but then it's a little flowy.